right so basically today tonight i'm gonna be driving down to brixton to geometric live uh, it's a mackie g headline show it's got some other guys going to i'll put the line up on the screen now because i forgot it off the top of my head yeah it's a long drive to be honest man um, it's about three hours uh, but it's a it's an audio slash visual show apparently now i'm not 100 percent sure what that means but i know that it's going to be really good production or at least that's how it's advertised so i didn't want to miss it you know mackie g is going to be touring in uh, nottingham soon which is obviously my hometown i'm going to be going there too but the reason i'm going all the way down to brixton is because i'm really curious to see what this av set's going to be like so i thought i would do a vlog of it uh, get some good clips do a review of all the different djs uh, it says that we're going to be arriving at half past ten so that is just under an hour until we're there uh, i'm currently coming up to luton right now which is kind of like north london so hopefully we shouldn't be too long uh, oh and also our hotel got cancelled last minute which means that i have to drive back after it finishes at 5 a.m i am probably going to die i'm already tired and this is literally on the way there so yeah um you will hear from me probably when we're outside Brixton Electric which is a venue that I'm very excited about visiting yeah it's gonna be good I hope because it's a long drive six hours in total uh, but Mackie G I have faith in you you never disappoint good luck on your set hope you make big coinage okay. so guys I'm currently driving through London and I am totally shitting my pants like bro I'm shitting it look me I am shitting it oh my god this is so stressful this is the most stressful drive I've ever done on paper anyway how is he just flying through like that it's busy as hell I'm in an ultra low emission zone. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, so that's the electric Brixton just there, that blue thing. <laughs>
Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Kurt Versions. This is my last shoe. Thank you for coming out.
to MC Skibbity make some fucking noise. I'm gonna see everyone's hands up in the fucking sky. Show some love for MC Skibbity right now. Not great. The people, 
I was expecting it to be way worse because of the stigma around Brixton being like very rough. It actually was okay. A lot of people were very talkative. I don't know, maybe if we went into the uh, you know the streets rather than the main roads, it might be a bit more rough. I don't know, but yeah, it was much better than I expected. So yeah, the people were good. The venue was good. I would go again if I could get a hotel, but I don't really like this whole driving thing, to be honest. I had one drink, and I bought another, and then I thought, I best not have it, you know. I didn't want to risk being over the limit, especially driving through London. Very stressful, by the way. It would be shipped. Anyway, so, go to the artist now. So, first we had Jamie Duggan. Well, Molly Collins was first, but I missed her. I'm quite gutted about that. Uh, ben, if you're watching this, not not you, Ben. Ben Trower, if you're watching this, mate. I wanted to see her. It's too late. So, no videos, unfortunately. Anyway, so the first we saw was Jamie Duggan. Now, I've seen Jamie Duggan a lot because he is often a supporting actor tank. So, I guess I could say that, well, his set was, I think he played pretty similar songs to what he plays at Tank, you know, but that's nothing wrong with the set in itself, it's more just the fact that I happen to be in Sheffield a lot, so I've heard a lot of his sets, but for an opening set, you wouldn't think that it was an opening set at all, it was very good, and then we moved on to, was it Darks after that? Game Oceans. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, K-Motions. Uh, I have seen him once before at Tank. He is really good. Obviously, he's got some very intense jump-up DMB. And if that's your sort of thing, you would have liked it. I mean, obviously, you would have seen the videos, maybe. Or you skip through them, or whatever. But go back and watch them if you haven't. Uh, yeah, I did like him, but... I think this is more of a drum and bass thing in general, obviously. I'm more of a fan of the UK bass, bass line scene, which is a bit slower. But I feel like with drum and bass, a lot of the time, it, after a while, it starts to kind of all sound the same, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I liked Game motions anyway. So after that, we had Dark Sea, and it was good having someone from Knots there. I felt a little bit less alien. There was someone else that had actually come all the way up to do a set. <coughs> I have seen Doxy a few times before and I really enjoy his sets. Uh, I like when he adds a little bit of dubstep into his sets as well, but at least from what I saw, and there wasn't any tonight, but obviously with Mackie G headlining, it was a drum and bass themed gig, so I guess it wouldn't have really made sense for there to be dubstep in there. One thing that I did particularly like, and before I go any further, no shame, no shade on Window K, I love him, but I did actually like the fact that it was just Darksy in this one, because I've never seen Darksy do a set without an MC, if that makes sense. So it was it was something different, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So that, that was, it was quite refreshing in a way to have that. So then, of course, we moved on to Mackie G, the main act, the headline, and, well, yeah, he was sick. He always is, he never fails to deliver. Mackie G, if by any slim chance you're watching this video, you did a great job. Hope you made that coinage. <laughs> yeah, it was really good, obviously. The, uh, the unique selling point of the gig was the fact that it was a, a visual set as well. And I didn't really know what that was going to mean, but the uh, the art on the wall, on the panels, whatever they're called, yeah, amazing. Amazing to look at. I got some really good videos. There were some times when I was taking the videos where I was thinking, I, I can't believe that I'm seeing this right now. It just looked amazing. I like the fact that he did a tribute to MC Skibbity as well. Of course, the late green that we lost uh, a few weeks back, I think it was now, uh, but yeah, he did a 
brilliant job. I expected nothing less from him. It was really good. It was fucking <laughs> sick. <laughs> That's what I mean, yeah. Uh, so yeah, 10 out of 10. Mikey G, you're the goat, bro. You're so sick, man. So then last, we had, we had ducks with sound and we only stayed for about 15 minutes of his set. I got a couple videos in there, I think, but it was very short because I was just thinking, I, I want to get back. I don't want to be walking in my house at eight in the morning. So we kind of listened to a couple of his songs and then packed up and left. But overall, very good gig. I'd say it was worth the trouble. You know, when I was driving here earlier, I was kind of thinking to myself, oh, I can't be able to drive. But then I thought, well, I'm not going to remember the drive, but I will remember the, the venue and the gig. So I'm glad that I did it. I made a good choice because I was tempted to just go to Knox instead tonight, Rock City or something. But I thought, no, I want to do something different. I want to get up there. I've been excited for it for a few weeks now, or longer actually. I think I got the tickets on the first piece. So, anyway, overall, very good gig. Mackie G, well done, congratulations. Let me know if you want to see more rave vlogs in the future. Thank you, Ben, for recording. Sounds. Until next time. <laughs>